Well, studying a Bachelor of Civil Law involves, first of all, studying how the law is created, uh, how the law is implemented, and how the law is enforced, uh, usually by the courts. So we start off by studying how the legal system operates. And once we, we understand how the legal system operates, then it's possible to research any aspect of the law to find out uh, what a recent court judgment says or what a recent law that's just been passed um, contains. Uh, studying a Bachelor of Civil Law also involves studying various, sub, the, the main core subject matter of, of the law, such as um, criminal law. So for example, we, you would learn uh, what the difference between murder and manslaughter is, or um, how a person is found guilty as opposed to innocent, um, what are the guarantees that a person has if they're accused of a crime, for example, the presumption of innocence, things that people would be familiar with from, from courtroom dramas. Um, so criminal law is one, one aspect of the law. Another example would be family law, uh, which is the law that governs the family, which usually kicks in, for example, when there's a breakdown in the family, for example, in a situation of, of separation or divorce or child custody or so on. Uh, another illustration uh, of an area of law is constitutional law, which is uh, the law that governs how the state operates. So it's, it's the law that lays down the rules about uh, the Dáil and the Shanna, about the, the role and the powers of the Taoiseach and the President and, and the role of the courts. And, and very importantly, constitutional law also lays down the rights that citizens have against the state. For example, the right to life, the fact that nobody can be deprived of their life by the state, or, or the right to privacy. Um, so these are the main subject areas of the law that we study. Um, but also we ask bigger questions, like for example, um, why do we need law? What makes a particular law a good law or a bad law? Uh, what's the relationship between law and power or law and justice? Bachelor of Civil Law offers the students a number of important skills. Some of these skills are intensely practical, so uh, skills like how to conduct legal research, how to look for the law, how to interpret and apply the law. But a, a very valuable thing that students will learn in the course of their degree is how to uh, reason in a legal way. So in other words, how to, to read a judgment, for example. A judgment is usually uh, handed down in a court and it applies, in, in theory at least, just to the, the parties before uh, the court. But in fact, when we read a judgment, what we're looking for is we're looking to take out of the judgment legal principles that can be applied to other similar cases. So, so we get very good at processes of induction, but also processes of deduction. For example, we learn how to read a particular law, a law, a law that's directed at a broad range of situations. Uh, and we learn how to take a, a client, for example, with a particular factual situation and apply the law to that particular client and all the nuances of, the, of, the, of their situation. So it's, it's really intensely practical in the sense that it, it uh, enables students to develop their powers of reasoning. A law degree is also excellent in the sense that it gets students to be very good at speaking too and we put a great emphasis on, on class participation in, in our law degree. Uh, we also have uh, a lot of students participating in moot court competitions which are um, courtroom competitions actually conducted in a courtroom in front of a judge where the students play the role of barristers and actually have to argue legal cases and then the judge decides on the case in the end. So students come away from their law degree um, really well able to speak up for themselves which is a skill that lasts in life regardless of whether you go on um, into a legal profession or not. So many of our, our students would go on to actually become legal professionals but not all of them do and in fact the law degree is, is, is incredibly useful for all sorts of professions ranging from, from journalism and, and all aspects of the media to working in the civil service, uh, to working for non-governmental organisations, for example like Amnesty International, or working with international organisations, for example like the United Nations or the EU institutions. So, so I suppose I want to make this clear that even though many people do go on to, to actually practice law, many people who have a law degree go on to use that law degree in very, very many other aspects uh, of their professional life. I think it's important if you're thinking about studying law that you have a curious mind. So if you're somebody that wants to find out how things work. And I think this is one of the key strengths of a law degree is that it really enables you to understand how society functions and also how to change. If you don't like the way society functions, maybe how to, how to institute change. So somebody with a very curious mind, somebody who also likes reading because you have to do a lot of reading and a lot of research. So uh, somebody who likes reading, somebody who likes English, somebody who's interested in history and, and in, in social structures would be interested in studying law.